Along the coastline of Lake Michigan, 25 miles south of Milwaukee, is the city of Racine, Wisconsin. At one time, home to the largest concentration of Danish Americans since the mid-1800s, Racine is also the birthplace of the world-renowned O&H Danish Bakery. Famous across the country for its Kringle, a flaky 36-layer Danish pastry filled with fruit, nuts, or cheese and drizzled with icing, O&H has been a Wisconsin staple since its founding by Christian Olesen in 1949. Christian immigrated to Racine with his father in 1924, finding a job at a local bakery. While carefully learning the trade for 25 years, he dreamed of someday opening his own bakery. In 1949, that dream came true when O&H Danish Bakery opened a small storefront on Douglas Avenue in Racine. You know, it was hard work and the conditions of, in bakeries were not what they are today. Darker and hotter and uh, it's just difficult. In 1963, Christian's son Ray and his wife Myrna purchased the business and took the bakery to new heights. We loved what we did. My husband loved people. He, loved, he was a people person. And he had the talent for knowing the doughs. He didn't even have to taste it to know it. forgot the salt. In 1982, O&H passed on to the third generation of family ownership. With the growth of the internet in the years that followed, the bakery continued to expand. Today, O&H has five locations and produces thousands of Kringle and other pastries each year. We keep growing and growing, but we haven't scratched the surface in terms of reach. It's still kind of neat, having been born and raised in Racine, to see it you know, transform to what it is now. While the bakery has grown from its humble beginnings, its commitment to using Christian's favorite homestyle recipes and scratch baking techniques has never wavered. It takes us three days to make a Kringle. It's always taken us three days to make a Kringle. And I'm guessing it always will take us three days to make a Kringle. Today, O&H's third and fourth generation owners are actively involved in the company. And the fifth generation is already learning the ropes. It makes me feel pretty good. I, I think that it's a pretty great place to grow up, and I'm happy that they're able to grow up at the bakery, too. Thanks to Christian's vision and decades of hard work, O&H will continue to bring its signature Kringle and other bakery treats to consumers for years to come.